I wasn't sure about um, making this video, but I saw this tweet, and I could not hold my tongue, honestly. So, I was just on Twitter, right? Just scrolling around, minding my own business, and then I found this. I found this. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this is 100% true or not. Uh, it's, heck, the original person who tweeted this said it might be fake, but this is, this is what I'm thinking. Because Bill says Discord is happening on Death Battle, uh, I think it would make sense for the Death Battle team to put a uh, build since Discord and putting it later on season 10. Now, it's not just this matchup. It's it's any matchups jumps in general that has this kind of situation. When a new, uh, like... I don't know, reboot, sequel, or really anything gets announced uh, about a, about this series that this combatant is in, I think Death Battle should put the matchup that they're going to do with this character uh, in later on see the season. I feel like because this could unlock some... Some new abilities, abilities like new hacks, any stats uh, for the uh, uh, combatants because that can affect uh, the outcome. If you want an example, take one of my personal favorites. Naruto Uzumaki versus Ichigo Kurosaki. Well, at the time, fine, people argue that Ichigo should have won this one. People are now coming to an agreement that Naruto wins the match. Making this essentially accurate now. Now, obviously, this is a completely different example, but it still stands. It still stands that if you're going to do a matchup with this specific character, and this specific character has a series that announces is going to have like a reboot or a, su or a sequel or anything really, I feel like they should have it uh, later on in the, in the season to see if it can affect the outcome. That's all I want to say. I hope y'all understand. And I'll see I'll see you all later.